Halo 3 was my first Halo game. I was probably 12 or 13 when I first saw the Belief campaign. I was entranced. The figurines of these marines in the middle of this heart-wrenching war, these mysterious aliens around them, dominating them, raining death as the mellow piano keys are struck in the background. This beat-down, armored figure held by the nape of his neck by this cool-looking alien. A mysterious device in his head. He looks at the camera, then it cuts. Believe. Halo 3. I was absolutely hooked. I begged my mom for the game and we pre-ordered it. Halo 3 would become the most played game of my teenage years, especially once I had finished the story and started exploring the multiplayer. Halo 3's multiplayer is responsible for the strength of most of my formative friendships through my teenage years. Me and my friends would get together every single day after school, online or otherwise, and would spend hours on end playing and laughing. Then we grew up, became less close, and eventually I moved away. Those friendships withered, but I would always remember them when I launched the game. I still have my original copy, and they're honestly a symbol of my teenage years. I miss the time deeply. A few years later, the Master Chief Collection was announced. They were reviving my Halo, untouched. I was excited, but it wasn't the same. My friends were in there. The game had grown just old enough that though I enjoyed it, I could only play it for two or three hours before I wanted to play something else. It didn't quite scratch the same itch that it did half a decade earlier. It was good, but nostalgia kept it alive. Then Halo 4 came out. It was good, but it wasn't my Halo. The developer switch has stolen most of the charm I personally liked Halo 4. I barely touched Halo 5, no longer connected to the story, and barely touching the multiplayer here and there. The magic was gone. Then, Halo Infinite. And while its development was rocky and surrounded by uncertainty and disencouragement, a brand new Halo felt exciting. Like something I'd been waiting for for a while. And it absolutely was. And I'll be honest, originally I was going to make this video sort of I played Halo Infinite for 40 hours, these are my thoughts video. But the more I played it, the emptier that idea felt. While the gameplay, gun feel, and mechanical design of the game is excellent, it's not why I liked it. Infinite has rebuilt my original experience with the Halo franchise. Late night with a squad, calling out enemies, yelling, Shouting, sticker grenades flying through the air, leveling up online, the friendly rivalries, all of it. The first time I played Infinite with my friends on our Discord server, link below, I was transported and I felt genuinely happy. 343 nailed it. And it's hard to describe where the charm comes from. Infinite doesn't simply opt to put a nice graphical overhaul of the Halo games and mechanics that preceded it. It abandons a lot of those design choices and replaces it with a lot of modern military shooter elements that threaten the experience, as they did in Halo 4 or 5. But I don't know what to say other than it simply works. And it has been an absolute delight to play. And that was just my experience with the multiplayer. While I was writing this, the campaign launched, and what a love letter to the origins of the franchise it has turned out to be. The game throws you into the debris-ridden spaceyard of a war-turned infinity ship invaded by the banished. Narrow hallways, doors that reveal small packs of enemies yelling at you as you're trying to escape the ship, and when you finally do, you walk past this massive door and are greeted by this incredibly open-world environment of Zeta Halo. Gorgeous greens, gorgeous mountains, and it's all yours to walk around in and explore. It feels and plays so much like the first hour of Halo Combat Evolved without the tedium of nostalgia bait that I can't help but to celebrate it. As I grow older and I find myself investing more time in relationships, my career, and whatever burdens of adulthood that limit my gaming time, I'm comforted by the fact that there's still a good bit of magic in picking up a modern Halo and be taken back to a time where my worries were not as pressing and the anxieties of daily life were minuscule. Halo Infinite is, without a doubt, a good competitive multiplayer shooter. But to me, it's a spiritual successor. It's an amalgamation of what made all the Halos I played truly great games, and it feels fantastic. 
It's also a portal to how I remembered those late night Halo 3 sessions feeling. Joyous, unapologetically fun, and formative. This game allowed me to pick up the controller again and play a version of that nostalgia and modernized some of my biggest and most formative experiences and injected a joy for gaming that I hadn't felt in ages. 343 did something special with Halo Infinite. They didn't regurgitate the nostalgia created by the original Halo trilogy, they evolved it. Halo Infinite is nostalgia evolved. This is clearly not a review. This is a celebration of a game that has put a smile on my face in a time where not a lot of games are able to. I'd love to hear if you've had any similar experiences and what games have done the same for you. Talk to me in the comments.